Hello YouTube, Got That Funk here. Uh, yesterday, I think it was, I was watching a video by my friend Kazoom Fowler, uh, who was hopping mad about some legislation that was being uh, proposed or going through, I suppose, or in danger of going through in the state of Kansas. Uh, House Bill 2453, I think it is, uh, if enacted, if it passes the state Senate, would enable people in Kansas uh, to legally discriminate against same-sex couples uh, if they do so based on their sincerely held religious beliefs. And since I watched Kazuma's video, I've looked into it a little bit because I wanted to find out what the state of play was and uh, how likely it was to pass or not pass and stuff like that. But I mean, I've actually been meaning to make a video on this sort of subject-ish, not this specific issue in Kansas so much, but this subject of, of religious exceptionalism. Uh, you know, I'm all for uh, the Bill of Rights uh, in general, but if we're mature, we have to recognize that sometimes uh, different rights can clash with one another. Um, and this is a really good example of when that takes place. Uh, religious people uh, who are so devout that they think that their religion entitles them to be bigots um, based on their religious beliefs or their interpretation of their religion. Um, I'm perfectly comfortable saying you're completely wrong and you need to reevaluate your position. And the, one of the reasons I say that is because, you know, your religion isn't the only religion in the world. There are some religious uh, traditions where people think it's okay to commit honor killings if uh, some person has disgraced their family and they commit these honor killings based on their strongly held religious beliefs I think that's complete bullshit it's always wrong to take someone's life against their will and I don't care what someone's religious text might say there's no excuse for killing someone against their will. So, no, religious exceptionalism is not okay. And just because we're not talking about killing people directly uh, as far as discriminating against same-sex couples is concerned, uh, it's not the issue of life or death that necessarily matters. It's the principle of discrimination based on supposed religious beliefs. Um, I am all for religious freedom. I think people should be allowed to uh, believe as they feel is correct and to celebrate their beliefs as they feel is appropriate according to their religious tradition. But I don't think uh, that that entitles us to maltreat one another um, and, and basically uh, create a second class of citizens is outside of possibility. To me, it's out of the question. Out of the question. Uh, when you look at uh, HB 2453, I mean, it seems to me self-evidently contrary to um, the Constitution. I'm not even a lawyer. Um, but uh, the 14th Amendment is pretty clear, and it just seems to be blatantly contradicting the 14th Amendment. So the good news is that when it was going, it, in, in Kansas, the bill has passed the State House, but it hasn't yet passed the State Senate, and I think the Senate is possibly going to uh, recoil from pushing it through as a law thanks to all of the heat that's been generated uh, due to this story. Um, and I was reading some of the uh, quotes from some of the uh, state house representatives who voted against the bill and it was quite encouraging because a lot of them were voting against the bill based on their own strongly held religious beliefs. So I think it's worth pointing out that uh, not everybody uh, in Kansas who has strong religious beliefs thinks that this kind of discrimination is okay. In fact, uh, the bill, when it passed the House, it passed 72 votes in favor versus 49 votes against. And uh, I make that 60%. Uh, three out of five people voted. So for every two people that voted against it, three people voted for it. So, of course, that's a good enough majority to pass. But um, to me, it's a little bit encouraging that uh, when you break it down as, you know, uh, 
three out of five. That doesn't quite sound as bad. And when you read some of the uh, explanations about why people were voting for or against it, um, those speaking against the bill were doing so, I think, with uh, you know, from from a fairly uh, principled point of view, uh, albeit religious in many cases, that's neither here nor there to me. The bottom line is uh, they voted the right way, in my opinion. There's no way we should be legally sanctioning uh, this kind of discrimination. Um, and to use your religious beliefs as some kind of fig leaf for your bigotry is disgusting to me. And that's all I'm going to say about it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep watching this issue, and I might make another video about it in the future. I certainly will if, the, if it actually passes in Kansas. Um, I'm going to go into the text of the bill and maybe do some of that kind of thing. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video. And until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.